welcome back to the channel everyone thank you very much for tuning in to another video so we have an update to give you on the meat that was held over there in italy uh licks palio Cita della Corsia, roverito and uh, quite a number of jamaican athletes actually competed in that event and i'm just going to tell you what their performance were like in my estimation because I was uh, definitely watching. Uh, in the women's 100 meter hurdles, we have Amoy Brown, and uh, she had to held her nerves because that race was a judge false start, and she had to go again. Um, a matter of fact, no one was kicked out of the race because uh, I think that there was a faulty start in this one. However, Amoy Brown was able to produce a time of 12.85 seconds to to finish second behind uh loving 12.76 seconds in this one not a bad run from her but definitely it was good to see uh amoy brown on the circuit doing pretty decent we also had the man rasheen mcdonald competing in the men's 400 meters yes and he's been having a stellar season over the distance uh producing uh several sub 45 seconds in that uh event the one lap event however this time around rashid mcdonald i'm not certain if he's saving some energy for brussels you know what i mean but he definitely went out there and he ran a cool calm and controlled race finishing in a time of 45.46 seconds uh, ahead of Saunders 45.53, Nene 45.69 and those will compete the top three in this event. So not a bad one from uh, Rasheen McDonald. I think he's conserving a little bit of energy there. And over to the women's 100 meters, we'll have Natasha Morrison taking that one. Yes, in a meet record, record breaking run from Natasha Morrison, 11 seconds flat. And that would have equaled her time that she produced the last outing against the Elaine Thompson era in Zurich and Shakira Richardson. Uh, TT Terry was second, 11.06. Gina Bass, 11.08. Uh, Dosa, 11.18. Brenna Williams, 11.22. And that completes the lineup because, of course, we had to mention the other Jamaican in Brenna Williams. So... It was a good run from Natasha Marshall. She led from the start and she just lifted herself and she started to get into her sprinting. And it was indeed a very good run from her. So when we look at that event, it was not a bad one from the Jamaicans. And But we have to look at the man, Oblique Seville. Yes, he competed in this one as well. I think... Based on what I saw from Oblique Civil people, it looks as if that race was way much faster than what came up on the clock. 10 seconds flat came up on the clock. He defeated Omeniala 10-1-5. And uh, Michael Campbell of Jamaica was in fourth, 10-2-9. Rowan Watson, 10-4-5. I mean, Rowan Watson was looking like he was just jogging, in my estimation. No... <laughs> oomph in, in, in the run. He was just basically going through the phases of his, his, his race. But a good win for Oblique Civil. And you know, of course, the fans are always been have always been saying, how come they have not seen Oblique Civil on the circuit? But let me tell you this. Every coach is different in how they operate, how they get their athletes prepared. And mind you, Oblique Civil was not at 100% uh, his best when... Uh, it went into trial remember he had some setback some tight hamstring or discomfort in his hamstring going into trials and that was one of the reasons why i do believe that his coach has ensured that he takes very good care of him so that is the situation with this one people a roundup of the meet in italy where some jamaicans went out and they did exceptionally well share your thoughts about what you think because the big one is coming up tomorrow, Brussels Diamond League. Until next time, people.